Hi, my name is Sven Malik and today I would like to show you how you can embed a Jetty server in a Java web application. At first we will create a Maven project. Going on creating the Maven module for the Jetty server. Adding some servlets and then going over to creating the web application module. This one will be very easy, very simple, just containing a simple index.html web page. At the end, we'll build the WAR file and connect it to the Jetty server. Okay, let's create a new project. And we will call it my jetty. Okay, the first step is done. We have our project. Um, here's a source folder because we are building some or exactly two Maven modules. We don't need this source folders, so I will just delete it. Right click on the server, new module. I chose Maven, create from archetype. We want to have the quick start and we'll call it server. Okay. Okay, just renaming it. Refactor, rename and call it is server. No, didn't work. Okay. Um, just make it a bit nicer. Okay. So server is new server and we want to start it on port 8080. Um, here we will do some stuff and at the end we want to start the server and since it can take some time, if we do a lot of things here, we want to wait until everything is up and running before we join the server thread. So the first thing is we have to import uh, something, um, the, the Jetty server library. Since we doesn't have it right now, we have to, we have to add a Maven dependency to that. And we find it in the, somewhere in Eclipse. A, okay. A, Clipse. and um, most of all it's enough to take the jetty server but since we want to connect it to a war and I'm not sure if it inside um, this library I'm going for um, for this one oh sorry for this one great it's downloaded we can import it Great. The next thing is um, we need a handler for it. And we need the handler to tell him the context um, path and, um, and the, the class we want to write our code. So I choose a serve let handler, call it handler. Serve let handler great just edit and at the end I would like to tell the server what 
what my handler is. Okay. And now we have to do something. I want to add a servlet mapping. And I need for that a class. Um, we'll call it ping handler class and please listen at ping and since we doesn't have the ping handler um, right now we'll just create a ping handler class right here and um, for that we we extend it because we want to have it as a servlet handler we will um, abstract it or we will extend it from a HTTP servlet let's just look inside that one and uh, I think we go for the do get I hope I copied the do get from HTTP servlet let's just see yes it worked um, let's just uh, remove everything inside and make it totally from scratch. Okay, we have a request and we have a response and um, let's take the response and set the status to okay. Let's just go down. Did you see OK? There it is. And then we um, set the response and um, get the writer because we want to write something. Return to print. Writer, call it out. Just have to import it. Out dot and um, on a print something out. Let's make a header and um, like the ping handler dot class dot get name great now we have that let's get back to our jetty server something that he doesn't like um, cannot resolve um, that one it's very weird it should actually add uh, okay just see it's a uh, at servlet with mapping like that now it's working great okay mm. something else that's not working so the first version of it um, is ready i think we should just uh, run it and check it out for that run in the meantime i will just start chrome so we'll not lose any time localhost and we say 8080 and ping it's not working because he's not finished yet okay it started pressing f5 and now um, we see the ping handler great okay Um, the next thing is that we will add another Maven module for the web application. Creating also from the archetype the web app, but not that one. Um, sorry. Web app, there it is. Next, and call it web app. 
great. So, but now I have the the web application, and um, inside we have an index JSP that we'll just um, just rename and say HTML. Let's just take a look. It's this one here. So it will build a war file, um, and it's nothing in there. We don't need any more. So heading over to the Jetty server, I wanna just um, hide this one. Um, so it's servlet. Great. And now we say set web app servlet give us so server that one we will comment out for now creating the, uh, the method for that and now we will add the web app context web app is web app context at the end we have to set it at the handler great and um, forgot a new web app and um, we now want to give it a um, the war file and the war file needs an absolute path so we will say new file and it's in the module called web app it will be built under target and the name will be the name of the module since we didn't say anything else war and then since it wants an absolute path we say that um, then we need um, to set the context path as well let's say web okay that's basically it um, Now we want to run maven clean install to build the war file. So heading over to my directory and um, wasn't it inside here? No, sorry, my jetty maven clean install that would be it i hope yes that was success and um, let's try to run it No, it's not running. The web at war should be should be here. Sorry. It's here web app target web app war set context path. Sorry for that forgot the slash once more okay now it works great I hope you liked the video if you liked it and if you um, get an idea about how 
you can um, create a simple jetty web application please like this video or follow me thank you very much